All right, everybody, welcome back to the Move Podcast, talking about stage one of the Tour de France Femme of Ex Zwift. Now, we have a little controversy, a little, little debate going on if we're saying it right or wrong. Tour de France Femme. I don't know, Allie apparently has been getting some grief about I say femme. I just, I femme. can speak French. I said femme because I thought it was plural, but femme, I will do it for the audience. I don't know, but we need to probably ask Melanie yeah. tomorrow. Well, and, and as it has been the case for, for the last three weeks of the men's race, today's show brought to you by, uh, and the entire week uh, brought to you by Ketone IQ. Uh, but before we get into some of that stuff, stage one, we have, you know, of course, during the men's race, we had our friend Alain calling out the stages. And it was like this panic. Everybody went into, we got to find another uh, French person to read off uh, the, the stages for the women's race. So let's, and, and actually listen to both of these because Alain, sorry, you're out. Uh, we have two options here, right? We've got Mel Hincapi, which I'm sure everybody's going to vote for. <laughs> and, and my friend Alex, who's the sommelier at uh, Cash Cash. So uh, Mel, where did we go today? Première étape, Clermont-Ferrand à Clermont-Ferrand. Clermont-Ferrand. A Clermont-Ferrand. All right, that's pretty good. I want to go wherever Mel's going. Like okay. right I right. think I'm on that one, well, too. I, <laughs> I, I, we had dinner at Cash Cash last night, and so I asked Alex uh, to, to do it as invite. well. He was. We talked about him last week, that he was a little jealous that another French guy gets to keep doing it. But uh, Alex, you tell us what we did today. Stage one, Clermont-Ferrand to Clermont-Ferrand. I'm sorry. Clermont-Ferrand to Clermont-Ferrand. <laughs> I, I, I think... I think we have a winner. I think Mel won. I think so. <laughs> but I want to go to Cash Cash, so okay. I don't know, but I want to hang All out right, with Mel. All right, then kiss up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, you can put your vote in anyway. well, I mean, I'll, have you seen Mel? Uh, I, mean, yeah, I know. I'll, br I'll break the news to Alex that he's out. Uh, before we get into all the action, of course, uh, an amazing victory from uh, a lot of Capecchi. Um, just a dominant, not just dominant on her part, but dominant on the part of her entire team, SD Works, which I think is going to be a consistent theme here for the next eight days. Uh, today's show brought to you by AG1, our daily foundational nutritional supplement that supports whole body health. I, I literally drink it every day. I start my day with it. Uh, not just myself. I listen to all these other smart people like uh, Peter Atia and Andrew Huberman. Uh, they swear by it. Personally, I was tired of taking so many supplements, and I wanted a single solution that supports my entire body and covers my nutritional basis every day. Uh, here's the kicker for me. I wanted better gut health, a boost in energy, immune system support, uh, and I wanted a supplement that actually tastes great because it does taste damn it good. It does. It's got a little uh, apple in there. It's got, yeah. Mm. It's a, it, Well, you know what it has in there? It has 75 high-quality ingredients that give us uh, the key daily nu nutrients and support all these cool things like energy, focus, strength, and clarity. All of this for less than three bucks a day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and 10 free AG1 travel packs. So like when y'all are on the road, you're here, you're using the travel packs. Head on over to drinkag1.com slash the move. That's drinkag1.com slash the move. Also today brought to you by HVMN. HVMN launched, launched the world's first drinkable ketone in 2017. Ketone IQ is their latest innovation on ketones with improved effectiveness, taste, and cost. Ketone IQ delivers clean fuel that can cross the blood-brain barrier, supplying your brain and body sustained energy, focus, and sharpness. Look at all this clarity we're getting. <laughs> I mean, the combo I of these two, like that's... <laughs> Wow. You can save 30% off your first subscription order of Ketone IQ at hvmn.com slash the move. Again, that's hvmn.com slash the move. Uh, whoa. Well, I mean, here we go. It was an early start this morning. It was an early start. Very. I know. And, and Mari, congratulations. I was me. locked out of your house. You were locked out. <laughs> I, I, I'm I sort always of, early. I, I, and I just, I, I got, and I looked at it, I was like, wow, who's a, there's a lady at the front. Oh, shit, that's Mari. I'm late. I'm late. Sorry, sorry. Waiting for coffee. Liz, Liz and I came together, and my alarm was set for 4 a.m. to watch the start. Mm. And this is the first time in my entire life I had to make my own AG1. Right, because Blaze Blaze slept in. He, he slept mm. in. I was disappointed. Thank you, thank you, Blaze, for uh, oh my God, um, for <laughs> just allowing some grace to all the dudes out there. Right, all the all out you dudes that listened yesterday are like, damn it, I have to do this stuff. But it, but, but it was a chill start. I mean, it wasn't like I, I was surprised. I mean, we flicked it on at like six ish. Yeah. it was still it was pretty relaxed. I was I I, th I think this Peloton. 
uh, is probably worried about what's to come. Well, I think they were looking at the finish of today's stage and, and the, up at the sprint, which is where we saw things kind mm-hmm. of start up. But yeah, it was really mellow in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Although the riders did say it was nervous, so I did start watching I kept hearing that. around four. So I, I there wasn't um, any severe crashes except one DNF. So we have our first DNF due to a cur- crash, uh, Benito. She unfortunately cannot continue. But when we're hearing interviews from Ashley Moomin Pasio, stuff they were saying it's mm-hmm. like a nervous bunch. Lizzie Dagman said the same thing. It said it was nervous, but fortunately we didn't see... We saw some unclipping, some kind of pileups, but not like major carnage. Right. Um, which to me was unique for the start of a grand tour because mm. the first stage often offers just, just so yeah. yeah yeah everyone's just on nerves. edge yeah. yeah nerves. But it did seem like the bigger teams, you know, with SD Works and Trek, were taking control pretty pretty early on. Um, so maybe everyone who was, you know, thinking about attacking got shut down pretty quickly. Yeah, so should we just, like, go to our first boomstick of the day, the winner and the it. yellow jersey? <laughs> right. Like, well, I want to talk about everything that else happened, but we should talk about the winner of the stage, uh, do you think? And, by the way, uh, uh, three jerseys. Doesn't have the Young Rider jersey, otherwise you'd have all of them, but has the yellow jersey. How far away gr- from me? <laughs> No, yeah. And Careful, yeah, stay, Abby. Stay, stay over there. She, she's got the yellow jersey, the green jersey, and the polka dot jersey uh, due to that amazing attack on that final climb. Uh, she also which, has a boomstick. And she's which, now, well, you haven't given it to her yet. Oh, boomstick goes to Lada Kapecki, Lada and Kapecki. Lance does not want to be hit with it. So I no. will set it down, and it'll try not to fall off the table right. again or hit Lance accidentally. I mean, what did it make? She won uh, the, her second Tour of Flanders this year. Um, mm-hmm. She's won many, many races this year. Um, and just well, and just, she wins in that style, though, that dominant, making that kind of huge attack, and no one can go with her. And then she goes long to the finish. I mean, and it, just and in watching the race, and, and uh, just the patience, right? She knew. I mean, the, what, the final climb was almost two k. She sort of waited with five hundred to go, and just you could tell she was just biding her time. And then when it was, there was one move. Yeah, that was it. Well, and, and you it, could see uh, Marlon Russo, her teammate, was just incredible today and really set it up perfectly for her and also set the pace where Webus could stay there up until 500 mm. meters to go when Lada attacked. Yeah, so let's talk about Lada Kopecki for a second because I just gave her the boomstick and Lance is now sitting further away from me than ever. <laughs> but, but Lada Kopecki, this is her style. So she won Flanders this year in the same fashion. It's a steep pitch. She rides very similar to a Vanderpool or a Wout. Mm-hmm. She can sprint. She can time trial, but she probably has the most power for that 500 meter attack. And when she goes, she commits full heartedly. She has one Strada Bianchi, and then we have the controversial second at Strada Bianchi to her teammate, Damie, this year, Mm. where they sprinted each other to the line. She's a three time world champion on the track and two different, or three different, four time world champion in three different disciplines. Mm. So she's actually really targeting Paris for a gold medal on the track. So this woman has raced in all disciplines, has this punch, so she does the Madison elimination and points race. And this year she won another large race, slightly smaller than a Tour of Flanders, but a couple days after her brother tragically died. Mm. And so this whole year she has been saying that she's racing with two people. Right. Uh, Her brother's only 29 years old, and so for her to be able to come back keep racing that aggressively and also it shows the dominance of SD Works which Mm. we discussed yesterday we know SD Works has a rider to win every single stage with every single different (laughs) rider but her and and potentially the overall yes her post I hope for the overall we we know I know I'm sorry (laughs) no she's am I supposed to be non-biased here no uh (laughs) <laughs> this is this you know this for, this day and age this, with this format you can do and say whatever you want. That's the I respect all writers and I am a yeah. fan of everybody. But Damie, go. By the way, she won by forty one <laughs> seconds. She killed all right, it. Th- this is not like a, a you know I get away and hold off the chasing field. But she, had the, com- she had the confidence that she was going to do it because, and that's what I thought was really interesting in her post race interview, was when she was saying how she's been, you know, targeting this finish. And, and although they had two plans going into the race, um, she had been envisioning winning this stage. Mm. And so, you know, and when she said she got the gap and went over the top and no one went with her, she knew she could hold them off, which I think is pretty, you know, 
incredible that she would think that she could hold off the, I mean, she obviously did, but she said she knew if she could just put her power out there that no one was going to bring her back to the finish. Yeah. So when you go back to how we saw the stage play, we had two major teams, Movie Star, which has reigning champion Anamique Van Vluten, not much on the front, like Vluti's floating around, mm-hmm. she's there, but on two sides of the road, similar to what we see in the men's tour, you have little... Lytle Trek. I, I keep wanting to say Little Trek. I'm, I'm very sorry. And then we have SD Works on the other side, and both of them wanted control of the race. And ultimately, SD Works had all the cards, having the fastest sprinter right. with Lorena Weebus. And then you have Marlon Rooster taking up that entire climb, which Marlon Rooster, as we know, won a stage in the tour last year, yeah. has won yet Wimbledon. She is the Swiss National Road and Time Trial Champion. And also, she plays a violin and is a doctor and surgeon. I, <laughs> I mean, NBD. What a, what a slacker. <laughs> Honestly, she though, could have probably just won a day, too. Why not? Right. Trek, well, she she, she like will she'll win. Have, she'll have her day. The Trek Little team, I mean, that was pretty interesting to see them out there because, you know, at first they had Balsamo working, which meant they're not working for their sprinter. And then, you know, so you, you'd think that they were bringing it for Longo Borghini and then Longo Borghini was struggling. So they put a huge amount of effort today into controlling that race along with SD works for, you know, 10th place. And then what is, was that like a minute six down or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we do, yeah, we have some, some people that lost some time on the first stage, which we had anticipated yesterday mm-hmm. that this, Hard climb, 9K, but as you saw, it wasn't like super technical, but it was a very fast ascent. And once once she put 20 seconds on them, she's gone. And what I think all the other teams should fear is a lot of Capecchi is iconic and amazing. And yet she is not unique on SD Works because now we're looking at every other single rider that could do the same thing on that team. Time will tell. But yeah. second and third were both sprinters, you know. I mean, you had Weebus in second and then Charlotta Cool in third. So in reality, when we talked about the race and that it might come down to a smaller sprint, it, I think it's pretty great that the two sprinters were there because I think it's going to be a good thing going into some of the flat stages coming up. Right. Yet tomorrow is not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> not we're tomorrow. we got to save that. We're going to get to that. But uh-huh. you know who else looked good? And just, and just, you know, you watch the races and you just – when the race gets hard, obviously they're showing people getting gapped off, getting mm-hmm. dropped. Um, I thought Veronica, yours looked chill. I was like, dang. Chill so, and comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Just like, just going with it. She was riding great. Yeah. We I noticed mean, a little bit of salt, but she's... Uh, <laughs> well, I guess that y'all were saying, I guess that's a thing. It's normal for her. I asked her about that when we were in France, and she says that she's been working on it and that it's more normal for her to have... Be more salty. I think so. if it's normal, it's more normal for me to be salty too, but not <laughs> not on the jersey sort no. of. Way. Yeah, you, that's right. That's but I mean, you have to figure she's been in the sport for two years. She's still like maturing, and I bet that changes over time. But it's not a cause for concern. Is she I somebody guess. that can, like a stage like tomorrow? Is I mean, she's good. She I think climb. it looks like a good one. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, we'll get into tomorrow. The other thing I want to say about SD Works is, 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 is and just if y'all are just starting to watch the uh, Tour de France Femme of Ex-Wift, um, a lot of the teams are associated with the men's teams. You've got Movistar, you've got Jumbo, you've got Trek, you've got UA. You know, they, all the men's teams basically yeah. have, have a women's team as well. The cool thing to me about SD Works is this is just a women's team. Like, we don't need a men's team. We're not associated with a men's team. And I think that's rad. Yeah, there are not many of them. And I mean, Canyon right. Tram would be the other one. Um, and then I think there's a British team. Like a high team. tech. Yeah. High tech. And you got But the most water are getting team. connected yeah. now with men's teams. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they have owned this team for quite a bit. And it's uh, it's been a long time coming. But there's trust. Yeah. There's infrastructure. Mm-hmm. And they are hiring. Like, Lada Kopecky is not only the Belgian national champion. Belgian winner of the Flanders. Can you imagine that? But Belgian time trial champion. Like, so, I mean, she's like a Greg Van Avermont of women's cycling. And it's registered in Holland or Belgium? SD Works. I think it. I believe it's Dutch. I thought it was Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they have uh, obviously an amazing leader. (laughs) Amazing leader. Uh, Before we talk about tomorrow's stage, because it looks like a doozy. It's interesting. They were, uh, in fact, it was, um, uh, it was Demi's interview after the race where she, she called it the queen stage. Of course, you know, we talked yesterday, got a stage with cold Aspen. You have the tourmalay. Aspen. Oh. <laughs> right. Um, but, but if, and we'll, t- we'll look at it, but uh, in terms of total 
climbing for the day. Maybe maybe it is. It doesn't. Uh, there are a lot of categorized climbs on it. There are. We'll get to that in a second. Today's show also brought to you by Wahoo. Wahoo. The, that's how I used to do that, right? <laughs> Wahoo's. And by the way, uh, Allie is now uh, uh, riding. Thank you. Uh, finally, a Wahoo. Yeah, uh, I'm a Rome girl. We, we've converted you. Also, speed play pedals. Yes, I've been speed play pedals for over 15 years. So right. I'm a huge speed play fan. I like the Rome for the gravel racing. Off road offers me like much more intricate navigation when courses aren't marked. Like yeah. in the Tour de France, Fama Vex Zwift, you have course marks, but right. you do gravel races. They don't. I tell you, the, and the, Blaze is probably happy I don't like the bolt because I don't think he really wants me to bolt. You know. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow, <laughs> that was some. Uh, yeah. it, it, that, that's one thing about this gravel world. Let me just d- divert for just a second. Like uh, the fact that the, the people have races or have a style of racing where the course is not marked. Yeah, I mean it's that's great. some. That is some fucked up stuff. Like you were just on Mars. You're uh, fine. I, I mean, how? <laughs> no, we are not going to talk about that. But. Um, but how, you know, the, the fact that the people haven't just been lost forever because the course is, I, I don't know what I would do. Wahoo Rome, you won't get lost. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Wahoo cycling products are trusted by the pro peloton, not just the men's peloton, but also the women's peloton. We see what, and Allie, of course, <laughs> we see Wahoo's element bolt GPS bike computer on the handlebars of more teams than any other brand. Uh, during the tour, go to wahoofitness.com slash the move. Enter the code the move to save 20% off. Again, that's wahoofitness.com slash the move. And when you're out doing these gravel races with Allie, you won't get lost. <laughs> like, that would be something. Has anybody seen Lance in a while? I don't know. I don't know, man. You he got lost. Just stay on my wheel and don't get dropped. The bolt is amazing, oh, yeah, sure. by the way. I just sure. don't think Blaze, like, trust me. You know, yeah. he's like, you need all the navigation. You can roam free, but please don't bolt for me. Okay. Which I do. Yeah. Well, but you can follow me, Lance. He's I, I, just you... on the other side of that curtain, so the good news is he can hear you. <laughs> he doesn't have to go home and watch the show. <laughs> all right. What do we, what's, uh, what do we got tomorrow? Oh, this, this, this looks lumpy. It's uh, basically lumpy. That's exactly what well, I wrote it down. It starts out climbing. I think that's the that's going to be a very hard start. Yeah, for them. if we could pull up the course there. Yeah, that's it's so it's twenty five hundred meters of climbing in one hundred and forty six kilometers. So twenty five hundred total. Uh huh. That's okay, so big. That's eight thousand feet. It's mm-hmm. like eighty three. Yeah, it's like a little over eight thousand yeah. feet. Yep. Six categories climbs. That's a lot. Yep. But four categories climbs in the last fifty k. So the last 50 K and a time bonus. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. So that's extra a, you, spicy. You, you, yeah. You got a bonus sprint and the finish is a 500 meter uphill finish averaging about 5.8%. Uh, I mean, I think this finish looks nasty. I mean, if Brutal. this, this is the last 5k and of course, uh, on the tour road book, they've got it color coded. Look at some of the, you know, what you want to look for the orange and the red. And, you know, those are, there's some, there's some, look at that section there. That 9%, midsection, That yeah. midsection yeah, is tough. It's going to be tough. This is, the, I, I, see, I love stuff like this. Like, this makes it, we're about to find but out But it's going to go crazy from the, it's going to be split up on that first climb, so. Yeah, because it's, it's, it starts up like a drag. Mm. And, and, and beam me up here, because I do not know the answer to this. Um, it, 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 okay, is Mars? there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, listen, Allie, if you say, if you talk about this fucking Mars show one more time. I just uh, want to meet Ronda Rousey. That's okay. I can, I can, okay, okay, here's the deal. I will connect you with Ronda if you you. do not bring up stars on Mars. Promise? You just brought it up. (laughs) But, but I'm assuming there's a time cut. Like you look at, you look at a stage and the profile is gone, but if you look at that start, uh, uh, that's, you know, the the way we saw today, there were ladies getting dropped pretty early on. Uh, Look at that start. I mean, that, that some ladies are going to have to be concerned about. They're going to be the struggling finish. from the start. By the way, 151 yeah. kilometers. Mm-hmm. That's the, you know, that's a, that's a, if you get dropped early on You're and don't, and don't have some support, mm-hmm. uh, that that's a problem. Definitely. And in the heat too. I mean, yeah. you could see some of the girls were struggling in the heat today. So I think tomorrow is going to be, I mean, with a start like that, it's going to be nasty. Yeah, I think tomorrow, which I just had wrote down punchers again, but, you know, the rollers type riders. And I think that's where you look at a team like SD Works that has right. we have Kapeki who's in yellow, but I don't think Kapeki's planning to right. keep yellow to the end of the tour. No. So we have a rooster. We have even Damie, but mm-hmm. it's going to be a small group coming to a finish. If Voss handles it 
and survives through all of that, she would be a great finisher. But I don't see anyone except a, maybe one or two riders of SD Works not making this split unless they're mm -hmm. having a really bad day. But our, our, our girl, like Cecile, I mean, this could be a good day for her. I think there's a lot of opportunities for them, for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, those women that we were talking about who are fighting out for the, you know, third through fifth place, um, they'll be attacking each other. I think it's going to go crazy in this last, you know, f at about 100K when they start that last climb. And, and is this the first real shootout between Demi Bollering and, and Annemiek Van Vluten? I don't. Oh, I mean, the well, I mean, I would think that the, the two finish, of them the are probably going to be looking at each other, and maybe that's the opportunity where some of the girls who are a little lower down, maybe someone you know gets a little gap or something. But the two of them have to be fighting it out further, further down. Right. I would think. Personally, yeah. If I was Demi, I just look at Anamique, mm -hmm. and Demi could take the yellow. But do you want the yellow that early when she uh. has four other teammates that could win this stage? By the way, Annemiek Van Vluten, I saw the headline yesterday. She, she said that she is not the favorite. That yeah, but oh, wouldn't you say, oh, I mean, bullshit. she's I'm, probably just saying that. Look, I, I mean, of course, that's a game. I mean, you, you got to pin it on somebody. Uh, but, I'm glad but, you don't have a swear jar this but year. But she doesn't so have free. the team. You know, she doesn't yeah. have the team that Demi has. So I think putting the stress onto SD Works makes a lot of sense yeah. for her. I agree. Know? I mean, let the others worry about it and just focus on Demi because if all the other teams keep bringing things back and, you know, know the the right break happens i mean it works for her so yeah I think jamie she has, has multiple teammates yeah. that can win and if she stays at the same time mm -hmm. as M van bluten she's fine but van bluten doesn't have one rider that i see that's going to be any match to an sd works rider i mean it's almost like if the attacks keep coming hard and fast and she's just going to have to think about who's the least important person to let go up the road yep. and then you know limit her limit her losses and then bring it all back on the the climbs because we do know Van Bluten's not super explosive. So she's looking at stage seven and stage eight. So Termolo and the time trial. So Termolo, she, is that what you said? <laughs> well, she already renamed the cold ass man, the cold ass man. Yeah, cold ass man. <laughs> right. It's the, and, 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 uh, look, I don't know. I'm going to get so many really negative know. comments. I, it's okay. I've got tough skin. I don't. I'll just cry. She had a oh, crash. You had, you had a cute. crash. It's had a cute. Crash it doesn't matter. <laughs> just blame that crash you had recently. It's the Tourmalade. Oh, but I like Tourmalade better. Like, I'm thinking oh, that God. that chocolate candy. Boy, my, That's one we can't really change. Mari, this Wait, is going to be a Tourmalade? This is going to be a long eight days. You guys, I got hit by a truck two and a half weeks ago. I have a concussion. I didn't know that. And, uh, I mean, I know, all you were very, you were very cryptic about what happened. Yes. Um, and that, that, uh, I'm glad you didn't put that in there because that sounds a hell of a lot worse. And is a, a hell of a lot worse, but um, it's poor Blaze. <laughs> this guy. Take him for a bike ride I, didn't, today. I, didn't I talk about, I'm going to do that. And we, uh, I, I, I believe last year I talked about where they're building the, the Blaze statue somewhere in, in uh, Petaluma. <laughs> Petaluma. Petaluma. <laughs> the Termal A. All right. Anything else we got to cover for for uh, tomorrow's action before we uh, head on off? And I and I take uh, <laughs> I take this this poor sap blaze for a bike ride. <laughs> um, no, I think it's basically going to be a really exciting day. A good chance for some opportunistic riders. We can still look at our Lamborghinis, which I also got some negative comments. Yes, her name is Elisa Longo Borghini. However, I, I, she texts me and I, she loves Lamborghini. I was going to say, I will support you. I think that one's cool. Like, who doesn't want to be called Lamborghini? She thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, good. So she's great. And um, also like a Lizzie Dijkman, you know, I think mm -hmm. once again, we should look at Trek tomorrow um, because they're opportunistic with some really good firepower. They well, missed out today. You know, I no. mean, I think that Who's Katya, Canyon have for tomorrow? Katya for some of the steeper things, I think. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. She just needs that buyer power, though. I need mm -hmm. like a. I think it's going to be really exciting. Um, so for anyone that also said that they were going to watch Paint Dry, it's going to be a masterpiece, is right. what it is. Yeah, good. And good. Lance likes art and women cycling. This is going to be and golf. I did not drop something else again, did I? Who was that, Liz? I think it was probably me. Oh shoot! So yeah, no, it's it's yeah. I do. I like and I like fireworks. We love fireworks. Yeah, so. And so we're going to see him tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow's going to be a new day with a lot of opportunities for exciting riders. So keep hashtag watch the farm, tune into the move. That's right. And we're going to get Lancey Pants up and early, but he gets a little <laughs> sleep now. Wait a minute. JB, do, are we going to, I know you're listening, but are we, uh, I, I'd like to have your uh, job on some of these shows. Are we going to take questions? I think that'd be cool. 
Yeah, let's do questions. Yeah, if, it, do yeah just if you have any questions about uh, uh, the race, then send us questions at the move at we do dot team, and we'll get to as many as we can uh, over the course of the next week. So the only questions I got were, how do you like actually put up with me? That was the questions I mainly got. <laughs> well, we, 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 we will go through them carefully, make sure that there's not too much of that. But all right, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. And in fact, we'll see you in a couple hours. At, to, you will. Yeah, I, yeah, I will. <laughs> Mari and I are going to go ride. You're going to go ride. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to actually go watch golf, as you know. Yeah. That's so day. boring. That's a good nap time. <laughs> yeah. I would, uh, yes. Okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See y'all tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.